Do you know what this is? This is a remote lockout for my Green Froggy. Green Froggy has got a Manitou Markor front fork, suspension fork. It's been working well. You've seen this one on a couple of my races and lots of trainings. The bike has already about thousands of kilometers, so there will be a test of that one very, very shortly. Uh, but there was one thing which I would like to have on at least some of my races, and that was the remote on the handlebars. It's got the lockout, it didn't have the remote and I didn't know that remote was actually available on the market. So today I'm gonna show you the remote and I'm gonna assemble it to the fork so that you will know it is easy and everyone can do it. First off, how the fork works. So when the lockout is open, you can use your smooth 100 millimeters of the travel and then it's got two positions. In the locked position, the fork becomes just firm. Uh, it will work just a little bit if you hit something like really badly, uh, but all in all, the lockout is like 100% locked uh, fork. Uh, and that's really handy when you want to go off the saddle and sprint a little bit and push it harder uh, a little bit. Uh, that's why I'm gonna use the remote lockout. Let's see how to use it. We're gonna be working on the right leg of the fork because that's where the damper is. So this nice part is here inside the leg, okay? And we can see this. This is the lockout quick toggle. That's how money to call it. It's open now and it's locked, easy. Uh, the mechanism we need is, is just some spring which will make it possible to open it up because we're gonna use the force of our fingers to lock it out and then the spring will be opening it for us. Let's see how it looks like. And this is what you need to buy in order to get the remote lockout on your money to fork. Uh, I am not sure what are these symbols for, what these stand, stand for. 11 kit ABS plus damper. So this is for the damper. Milo ASI AM Min MR HB performance system. So I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's uh, it's gonna be helpful for you because uh, this will probably fit more models than just uh, money to mark for and here what we need to, to have. This is our remote, this is how it looks like and works. Uh, this is the housing um, somewhere there there was also the, yes this is the uh, small cap for the uh, cable and finally super simple mechanism. Thanks to this little spring, we will be able to lock it out and then open it. Let's do it then. We just need the two millimeter Allen key in order to remove uh, the remote lockout lever. This is very simple. Here is our lockout lever, the quick toggle, and this is the damper. Uh, what we need to install now is the new uh, lockout lever. My additional question to you guys is this one looks like it was already prepared for, for mounting the cable on it. The question is can I use this one instead of the one I actually bought? Let me just look at those. Uh, this is the one with the lever. This is the new one for the remote lever. Both have this groove for the cable both have this little hole for the spring uh, but differently located as you can see this one has has it here and this one has it right there on the side so this little lever has been prepared for at least something i'm not sure for what but anyway this is what we get with the new set and we are going to assemble this one and look how easy this is this is the old one so we use our our force of uh, our hand in order to lock it out and open it. The new one will come with this little plastic and then the spring will be here inside and then this one here will be operated by the cable. We will be locking it out and then when we open the, uh, the remote the spring will actually open the damper back and the fork will be working. I'm gonna clean it first a little bit. And now the cable guide will go like this. The housing will come in here and then the cable out there. So um, we want this part to be, um, to be pointing uh, forwards. 
and now we have uh, four uh, holes in this uh, guide we're gonna uh, mount this part this side of the spring in one of these into one of these and this side of the spring this little one the bent one will come into this hole in the lockout now after assembling the spring to my lockout uh, I'm gonna guide this end of the spring through one of these holes there uh, and make sure that there is some tension on the spring because uh, it is the tension that will allow our lockout to open uh, the damper so let's see how we do it and here's the tip how to do it before we mount this plastic guide uh, onto our leg I'm gonna thread the spring through one of these holes here and then turn my my lockout by what was that 30 degrees uh, and then I'm putting it back into its place now it all fits and I see that when I turn the lockout it will go back thanks to the tension on the spring this is what I wanted to have now I can assemble it now the decision time where do I want to have my lockout on the right side of my handlebars or on the left side and I think I'm gonna have it on the left side if there was a dropper post uh, lever I would probably put it on the right side but since I don't have dropper post yet on my green froggy I'm gonna put this one here uh, but the news is we need to remove the grip it's time for the housing the cable is okay but I think I'm gonna put just a very very thin film of oil And I have to admit I have already installed everything but then decided the housing was too long it was just too long you see how how it looks like all the housings are here this one is that far that's because this lockout uh, doesn't guide the, the housing uh, towards the stem but uh, forward so it's too long I'm gonna cut like four centimeters of it remember to remove the cable first I have removed the whole system once again because I need to move my uh, lockout as you see uh, here's the housing uh, the cable comes in and this is the place uh, where it, the, the cable goes out so it is too close to one another I need to do this and now it's gonna work well so the cable will go out this way and come in this way uh, so you don't just focus on uh, these signs to be straight when it's uh, on the fork this will be like that and now everything will fit nicely At this point remember to keep the lockout in the open position this is the locked position the closed one this is the open position so uh, the cable should be all the way out before assembling the cable so locking it here with this bolt make sure that you pull all the cable out from the housing we want to have tension there and that's the point where you can ask somebody for help just to to keep the cable for you but you can do it also as I'm doing First off, we already have some tension on the spring, but in order to put a little bit more, you wanna just, just move the lockout a little bit, having a bit more tension on the cable. And now we can lock the cable. 
and lockout will be nice and crisp. And if we turn that lockout too far, we won't be able to lock it out completely. So we need to back off a little bit. It's working. And time for the update of my green froggy weight, which is all stock components plus M520 SPDs, um, tubeless uh, conversion, but a lot of um, sealant, 90 milliliters into each of those wheels. So it will be heavier than the previous one uh, with the with the inner tubes. Uh, Tax zero zeros uh, bottle cage, and now also the lockout in the front. And the weight of the bike is 12.9 kilograms. So with the added lockout remote and nice tubeless, very, very rough and bulletproof, this setup below 13 kilograms. I'm very, very happy with that. So how it went? It went very well. This is a pretty easy operation. Just make sure that you put the, the right amount of tension on your spring. And maybe you will have to check it out twice or three times, but it's no problem. It's just a couple of minutes to put it on. Uh, as for the housing guide, my guide now doesn't go straight, but it goes a little bit inwards. So a little bit towards the, the lever on the handlebars. The, the lever, it's pretty ergonomic. It feels okay. I would like to have it a little bit lower, uh, but there is the, the shifter um, for the front der derailleur, so it has to be like that. We're gonna check it out on the race. Uh, as for the cable mounting bolt, uh, this is the two millimeter one. Don't um, use too much uh, force on it because uh, it will make the cable fray. So not too much force. Uh, you don't need that much force in order to actually stop and lock the cable there. And that's it. Not too much weight, additional weight on my bike. 13 kilo, less than 13, so still sub 13 kilo bike for what? 400, four, four, 4,000 zlotys, which is about one, just over $1,000. Uh, that's pretty good. We're gonna check it out on the race very, very soon. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put those in the comments. See you, bye-bye. Ah. <sighs> Guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to join our forum.sigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics, uh, training, service, any issues with the bikes. If you want to share anything with us, join our Facebook group. All the links are below. And if you want to join my patrons, feel free to do so. And now, okay, you might watch just one or two episodes more, but then let's go and ride. Achoo!